Vendreds and Predas with some Shirano Spice. 3 in 1 that has power to clap everyone. Let's do this. It's time to do 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 the main cards of this deck are Ritual Zombies. Revendred Slayer is our main card. Once per battle, if Revendred Slayer battles with your opponent's monster, you can banish one zombie type monster from your graveyard. Slayer gains 300 attack. You can Ritual Summon it with Revendred Evolution or Revendred Origin. Origin is our best ritual spell. You can Ritual Summon Vendred from your hand or your graveyard. Origin's another effect is if a Revendred Slayer, you Control will be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can banish it to protect your ritual monster. Exactor's name is Revendred Slayer while it's on the field, so you can protect this too. While using Origin, you can banish zombie type monsters from your graveyard to help assist your ritual summon. And you can exceed level of the ritual monster you are going to ritual summon, but you can't do this with Revendred Evolution. It has to be exactly the same level, and the ritual monster you are going to ritual summon with Raven Red Evolution is going to be destroyed during the next turns and phase, which means opponent's turns and phase, and you can send one Vendred monster from your deck to the graveyard to help assist your ritual summon while ritual summoning with Raven Red Evolution. So main thing you are going to do is use evolution, summon slayer from your hand or graveyard. Next turn slayer gets destroyed. When slayer gets destroyed, you can add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand and send a Vendred monster from your deck graveyard, you can send Executor or a Hound Horde. Hound Horde, while it's in the graveyard, you can discard a Vendred card and special summon it back to your field. If you tribute this card from your field to Ritual Summon a Vendred Ritual Monster, your Ritual Monster will gain a quick effect, which is you can once spell or trap your opponent controls, banish it once per turn. Vendred Revenants, like Hound Horde, if you tribute this from your field to help assist your Ritual Summon, your Ritual Monster will gain a quick effect. Once per turn, you can target Target one special summoned monster your opponent controls, banish it. If Revenants gets destroyed by battle or card effect by an opponent's card, you can special summon it, but banish it when leaves the field. Same goes to Hound Horde. If you have used this effect to special summon it from your graveyard, if it leaves the field, banish it. Only Preda Plants cards we are using is Calami. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one dark fusion monster from your extra deck using this card and dark monsters from your hand or field. When Dreads are dark monsters, you can use them, tribute them to fusion summon a chimera flesia. Once per turn, you can target one monster on the field with a level less than or equal to this card, banish it. It has to be face up. When an attack is declared involving this card and then opponent face up monster, you can activate this effect until the end of the turn. That opponent's monster will lose 1000 attack, and if it does, this card gains 1000 attack. Also, if this card is destroyed during the next standby phase, if this card is still in your graveyard, you can can add a fusion spell card from your deck to your hand, which is your polymerization. You can use polymerization to fusion summon Chimera Flasia, or you can use two zombie type monsters to fusion summon a nether soul dragon. It must be fusion summoned. Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle with this card at the end of the damage step. If this card opponents monster that has an original level, that monster's attack will go to zero, and you are going to special summon a token, which is zombie type and dark, and its attack will equal to your opponent's monsters that battle with nether soul dragon and you can attack with that token to your opponent's monster again and destroy that monster as shiranui's we are only using spectral sword spectral sword if it's in the graveyard you can target one zombie type monster in your graveyard banish spectral sword and that monster to special summon a shogun saga sword saga or a sun saga sun saga if it's special summon you can return any number of zombie singles from your graveyard or banish pile to your extra deck and destroy cards same amount with the cards you returned Shogun Saga, if it's special summoned, you can banish a zombie from your graveyard, this card gains that zombie's attack. If it gets destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished zombie type monsters with zero defense, return to your graveyard, you can return Spectral Sword to your graveyard again, and next turn you can special summon your Sun Saga. Sword Saga, you can special summon it with using Spectral Sword.
Sword and Hound Horde. If it's special summoned, you can target a monster on the field, change its battle position. If it gets banished, you can special summon a Shuranui token. Vendred Knights, discard a card, add a Vendred monster from your deck to your hand. When your Vendred monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can banish a Vendred monster from your graveyard. Your monster can attack an opponent's monster once again. We are using Master of Rights too. You begin the duel with Ritual Cage, you take no battle damage from attacks involving Ritual monsters you control. And Ritual monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by monster effects. So if you control Ritual Cage and if you control Revendra Dex Hector, your opponent cannot anything on your field with monster effects. If they are going to target you with spells or traps while you control Exactor, they can only target Exactor because that's what this card says. When Exactor gets destroyed, you can add any Vendred card from your deck to your hand, Ritual Spell, Monster, or your Field Spell, Fusion Summon, Synchro Summon, Ritual Summon, 3 in 1. That's it for now. Enjoy the rest of the video.